Hi, and here is our live tutorial on some of the stuff that you just wrote down in your notes. Um, so what I'm sharing with you right now is my basic coding screen, as you can see. Um, and I'm going to kind of show you how these things work based on what we just talked about. So looking at our screen up at the top, what the first line is telling my computer is, hey, computer, we're talking in HTML. That's the only reason this one is allowed to be uppercase. I know that breaks our rule from our notes. This one is uppercase. It's yelling at our computer that this is the language that we're talking in. This sets up the basic structure of our website. You don't ever want to type in here. This is just your template. And where you'll be typing comes down here in the body section. We said the body tag is like our open book cover and our close of our book. Okay, you only want to type between there. That's why I keep them so separated so that you don't ever type outside of them. So we're going to set this up. The only place up here that you can type in is this title tag. I'm going to set up it with my name, uh, practice. Okay, and I'm going to hit control save. And what that will do is when I flip over to where my website is, we can see now at the top of my screen on this tab, it says Katie Watts practice. I coded that. So we're going to put some content onto our page. The first tag that we talked about in our notes was the H1. So we're going to go ahead and add an H1 to our site. Notice I put an open and a close. And I'm going to type Steam Web Site. Okay. I'm going to hit Control Save again. And we're going to come over to our example and see that now our website has a title. It's not very pretty because we haven't styled it but the content is there. I'm going to go add a couple other things to our website. We're going to go ahead and add a paragraph quick. This is a paragraph. Okay. I'm also going to add a H2 C I M smaller and H S three, I get smaller. So you can see the size. Um, I'm also going to type an H6 for you so you can see why people don't use H6s. We talked about that in your notes. Tiny. Okay, save it out. Um, and let's see what that looks like right now. That might be enough for us. I'm going to refresh my website. And here you can see my H1, my H2, my H3, and see that the H6 is even smaller than a paragraph. So basically, when you get smaller, you might as well change tags to the paragraph. And then real quickly, what we're going to do is flip over to my style. We're doing external style. Remember, we said there were two ways. There was a way to have style up here on the top or there was a way to have a separate page and link them. So here's that link we talked about right at the top. It's linking it to my styles doc and notice on the side of my screen is my styles doc. I'm going to go over here where I also have a template laid out. You don't mess with that. I'm going to come down below that. We made an H1. So we said we can have a selector if we made that tag. So I made an H1. We practiced in our notes changing the color of something. We said we wanted it pink in our notes, so I'm going to save it out. Quickly come to see what that means for me, and we can see it changed to pink. Um, we also talked about giving it a bigger font size in our notes, so we're going to say font size. We're going to go 27 pixels and see how that does from our notes. That might not be big enough. It actually made it smaller than what it was originally. So we know the default is bigger than 27. So let us just make it really big and go to 47 and see how that looks. There we go. What if I want that to be in the center of my page? Well, there is a property called text align and you can see it gives me options here, text align. And I can move it to the center because I'm texting or that a text and aligning it to the center of my page. So now if I come over to my website, we will see that my H1 moves. What if I want to style something else? I want my paragraph to be styled. Underneath my close, here's my close for my H1. I make a new selector, P. I want to do something to it. I want it to have a background. 